In terms of fame and frame, rugby players don't get much bigger than Jonah Lomu. His rapid ascent began in 1994, when as a 19-year-old he dazzled the world at the most famous sevens event of them all. Hong Kong has always been a, a, a huge stepping stone for, for All Black Rugby. Um, you know, myself, Christian Cullen, uh, Joely Vendiri, Eric Rush, Dallas Seymour, mate, the number of players that have come through the Gordon Titchen School of um, Coaching to get through to the All Blacks uh, is, mate, it's a huge breeding ground. Uh, if you haven't made the All Blacks, you've made Super 15 uh, and so forth. So, you know, it's a, it's a way to get yourself out there, but also at the same time, uh, the fitness levels that you have to have to compete at Sevens is completely off the charts. Um, if you want your heart to basically pop out of your chest, this is the game to play. Having competed at the highest levels of sevens and fifteens, Lomu terrorised the best in the world. But who did he fear most? My toughest opponent um, for me, Emil Untermeck. He'd be the toughest opponent that I ever had. Usually you can watch somebody, uh, when, you, when you're taught how to uh, defend against someone, you watch his hips because it's the one part on the body when you're running that stays in one place. So you know if you follow the hips, you're usually going to get them. The problem with the meal is that his whole body shifted. So that's including his hips. So when he ran, it basically swayed side to side. So you're like, what the hell am I going to do here? The thing is, you can't let him go because he's quick enough to disappear on you. And um, the other thing is, like, he's just, like, just really fleet-footed. And um, so that was, that, for me, that was the challenge. One year after making his impact in Hong Kong, Lomu was showing the world that he could just as easily run through 15 men as seven in the 1995 Rugby World Cup. I didn't realise how much of a, an impact I had in terms of playing rugby until I had to go out and buy something from him while I was in South Africa. It was hard because like, I, um, I didn't know who to ask because I hadn't seen it with with anyone else. People had, the, had had that experience before to a certain level, but I didn't expect it that way, you know what I mean? So didn't expect, uh, you know, had to get the more security to actually come into the actual shop where I was, help me out and go out through the stairwell and everything else to, to get back to my hotel. And all I wanted to do was basically get some toothpaste. My whole life completely changed. Uh, my life was never mine then. And, uh, and it's changed completely and it's um, still not mine now. Hugely respected the world over, Lomu was in Hong Kong offering encouragement to a new generation of Sevens players. I used Sevens to get myself fit to be able to compete against the best in the world. Um, I would say that also um, if I hadn't played Sevens, I don't think I would have played as well as I did in the 15-man game.